What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we did a really fun one. We added our uh, wireless Apple CarPlay system uh, to that gorgeous BMW M3 F80 series. Um, so just off the bat, this kit will work with all three series models that have the NBT system. In fact, all BMWs with the NBT iDrive system, but this was the M3 um, it was a really fun install. Um, the link for this kit that we sell is in the description. So if you want to go ahead and get it, it's there. But apart from that, we did the whole install today um, went through some other bits and pieces that we did as well. And if you have any questions regarding the install or anything else, just drop a comment below. Um, or on the website, you can fill out the contact form, whichever. The module features Apple CarPlay, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, um, now it does do wireless Android, but that is subject to the phone because uh, it can just be a bit unstable, um, as you might know. Um, what else? USB input, it's got Bluetooth. Um, now you'll still use the factory Bluetooth for phone calls. And the new microphone that you saw, uh, which I explained anyway, that's for voice control. But yeah, anyway, sit back, enjoy. And like I said, any questions, drop them in the comments below. Here is the interior. This is the factory NBT system right here, so that's how it looks. And what we need to do is basically remove most of this stuff right here. Um, so this panel right here goes along here all the way over to the left hand side vent. And what we need to do is unclip it. Um, and it's just held in by clips, so we're just going to unclip, remove that. And um, that's going to expose a couple screws up here. Then we can look at removing this, also this panel here pops straight down and there's another two screws. And that will release this panel here. Okay, once that's out, this will expose the main radio module. And you can see there's a fair bit of space down here. So you can look at mounting the module um, right in here, or you can remove the glove box and put it behind there. So what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll get the radio out, look at the wiring, see if we can fit the module here. Um, and if we can, awesome. If not, um, I'm behind the glove box. All right, radio module is free. So just um, take your time, number one, number two, Make sure you don't lose any of these plugs. There's a lot of plugs in that radio. So you've got all these here. And you got, that was something else. You got the quad lock. Okay, that was right underneath the quad lock. And a few others there. So just be wary of them. This pink one right here is our screen connection. So we're going to be using that. And we'll also be using this. So let's get the kit out and start looking at the wiring. In each kit, you do get this little diagram here. So this is going to show you one dip switches. These are on the back of the module. So what you need to do is set, you know, six and a half inch screen it's obviously way bigger um so nbt eight and a half to 10.2 inch so that's what we're going to set to you know, anyway we can look at that later then you've got your lvds so this is our screen connection and it says connect original lvds so that means this is the original lvds right here Oop, right there so we'll connect one cable to that and then the other lvds output it says connect to the screen okay so we're going to be connecting that directly to the screen then you've got a microphone, so you can run that wherever you want. I've said that in many videos. We like to hide them, usually in the roof lining or somewhere alike. You can put it wherever you want. Um, and then you've got your power harness and your CarPlay USB. So they're pretty straightforward. So there's two screws right there to remove the screen. Uh, once the screen's removed, we can pop it straight up. Okay, so how that's going to work is your new harness goes into that plug right there. And this plug here will continue to plug into the factory radio, so we don't need to worry about that one. And what you need to do is pull that through because that's going to go to LVDS out. Okay, so this is still the original cable and just make sure you've got the screen right. So this goes to the radio, this goes to the screen. The screen side plugs into your new connector like so. Okay, so how that's going to work, it's going to go radio module. You can even put a bit of tape around that so you don't forget even. Okay, so you know what's what. So that's radio module and on the module that's going to go to LVDS in, okay, just like that. Boom. And LVDS out is gonna go from your module again. All right, just be careful. Boom. Out from there, it's gonna run up to the screen and plug into the screen, okay? Next up is the quad lock connector. It's pretty much plug and play, and it will only go one way, so you can plug it straight in. But what you need to do is remove this 
fiber optic connection from here, all right? And you probably have to cut some of this tape as well. Remove it and then put it in to the same position, to the top left, on the new plug. Okay, so the reason for getting rid of some of that tape there was just so we have a little bit more room here with this and um, so we can, you know, shove that away and still keep this here, okay? And also that needs to get separated too. All right, so once you've got that plugged in, we can tape some of this stuff up and what we need to do, there's two more things to do now. Fiber optic goes into the new position. So we're gonna put the fiber optic into this plug um, after this is taped up. And then this quad lock, what we need to do is get it, there's good thing about these cars, heaps of room. We wanna get it down out of the way, okay? Number two is the audio input. Okay, put some tape around it. Then we've got our secondary here. So that's gonna go right there. Then this AUX, so plugged in here, and then on the other end of our secondary, there's AUX right there. Just plugs in, okay, it's really easy. Now, this also has a bunch of external inputs, so reverse camera, front camera, reverse camera power, all that sort of stuff. Um, if you're doing an M3, you've obviously got pretty much everything, but if you're doing just a normal three series, you can add that stuff. So what I would like to do ideally is get the radio module back in and mounted since we've done this sort of stuff here, run our screen cable up, like so we don't forget that, get it mounted and then see if the module's gonna fit, okay? And then if it doesn't fit, we'll have to just reroute most of this cabling right to here. And if it does fit, happy days. All right, getting that in took literally forever and it was mainly just getting the quad lock back in. In terms of space, it just slides right in. It was actually quite easy. And I've already looked at the module because I didn't realize it stopped recording. Um, the module, you could maneuver it a couple of ways, but basically there's plenty of room in there to get it in and zip tie it, okay? So we can look at that later. Um, yeah, the quad lock took forever to get in now. The th I just wanted to let you guys know that because um, I didn't lose my patience and we had no problems. So in this game, if you're doing this, whether you're fitting for someone else or yourself, you need to be very patient. You can't lose your patience and you need to look closely at things, okay? What happened was there's two teeth on the quad lock and the right tooth, because I only had a little bit of space, which you might've saw, I had to unplug some stuff, pull it out. And one tooth was just about a couple of mils, millimeters the wrong way. So it just had to go like that. And then it went in, okay? Okay, so we are far from being finished, but at least what we can do is just see if certain things work. And there you go. Now we see that, so that was obviously just dip switches. Now what we're gonna do is just test a few features, okay? So the dial is working. You press and hold the back button. All right, good, so we're in the CarPlay screen already, okay? Like I said, still got plenty to do. We've got to run the microphone, got to run our USB for CarPlay, but just like that, you can get it up and running, okay? Here's your microphone, All right, pop, pop. You can run that wherever you want. I say that in pretty much every car play we do. I'm going to do, I'm probably going to go up in the roof lining here, okay? And then I'm going to run it down behind the glove box to here, uh, get it plugged in, um, and I'll touch base with you after that. I'm also going to be running this into the center console. Um, so I'll give you a little rundown on that, but again, these two things are completely optional where you run them. Now, they need to be connected. A lot of people ask, do you have to have the microphone? Yes, you do. The factory microphone is used for Bluetooth phone calls as normal. The new microphone is used for Siri, you know, hey Siri, okay Google, call so and so, okay? It needs to be done. Second, secondly, you need to run your USB. Yes, it does wireless. You do need to run this as well, um, wherever you want, okay? You can run it, have it sticking down by your foot right there if you want. You can have it in the glove box. You can do a nice flush mount like we're going to do for our customer, whatever you want, okay? So that's why I don't show those two because they're not, you know, you can do whatever you want with them. So I'll get them done and we'll touch base after that. Apart from that, this is also in the kit, okay? It's your little Wi-Fi antenna, so you can screw it on now or later, just don't forget it. Don't be telling me wireless doesn't work and you haven't screwed your antenna on. All right, guys, microphone is done. CarPlay USB is done. I've just got this panel out here, so that just pops out with clips and we've put a flush mount right there, so that's your CarPlay USB and you can still use your genuine USB and AUX as normal. Um, so we'll put that back in a minute. We just want to test first. Um, wiring goes underneath there, runs down with the factory wiring up all the way to the module. 
and that's where it comes out so we've just got to plug that into carplay usb and like i said microphone is done and actually i'll show you guys something else so this is where the rear cigarette lighter would normally go in this panel here and we've put a flush mount in that too so that will just be charge power so that's pretty cool and that just gets wired up over there so a really quick recap boom carplay usb goes to cp carplay usb Wi-Fi antenna, Wi-Fi obviously goes into the antenna port. Power, that plugs into the original quad lock connector. Okay, and we've transferred that fiber optic into the new one. LCD out, runs directly to our screen. We've put those screws back. And LCD in, plugs directly into that um, radio module, which we plug, radio module plug, which we looked at. And that is pretty much most of that ready to go. So what I'll do is plug that in. And for mounting, what we're going to do, there's a lot of little holes in this sort of um, plastic shelf here so i'm going to get a zip tie a few zip ties in there and double-sided tape i'm going to double side that down and put a couple of zip ties around it and it won't go anywhere so i'll get that done um, and then we can touch base when we're ready to test all right guys here we are so i've just plugged this in here just holding it with my hand so i could get volume which we've got so you should be able to hear the music and also a dog um, that's just on aux from the front input so with the module got it mounted where i said double sided down it's not going anywhere it's nice and tight um that plug there clips into this panel so i've just left that plugged in this panel plugs in with the top right plug right there there's four screws to go in it this is our original system so what we've done is just put it on aux then we press and hold back boom switches you over to carplay those lines on the screen are just from the camera there's nothing actually on the screen it looks really good actually um, and yeah, so if we go here, we can just, you can hear it. Next song. You can hear that fine. Awesome. And we'll go back and hold back again. And that will switch us back to the original system. Okay, just like that. Um, and for those of you that didn't see before, that is our new flush mount USB for CarPlay. It looks really nice, really clean in there. Um, and yeah, that is everything done so you know usb is done microphone is done video inputs are done we saw all that power is done and what we'll do is these four torque screws are going to go back in we'll do that and we'll get that vent in and we can take a closer look at how carplay works but we're also actually adding a wireless charger right here so i'm going to get that done um, and then we can look at the CarPlay after that because I think we're going to need this panel out of the way welcome back so we've still got screen here still got that there um, just mounted this. Okay, it's pretty cool. So how that works. Basically, when it's got power, check your phone on, boom, starts charging. Wireless charger. That's BMW specific. Um, I didn't film that because that's not part of today's video, but that replaces the old cubby that was here and that's mounted down. Here it is, so basically, job's done, tested everything, everything's working, all factory features are working. Once that's set, plug your phone in. You can connect wirelessly, but this is not my car, so I'm not going to, but it's essentially, plug, uh, sorry, not plug your phone in, connect your phone wirelessly, sit it on the wireless charger, it'll charge, and you've also got CarPlay. If we go back right here, this is CarPlay, this is how CarPlay looks. Um, you've got phone, music, maps, messages, podcasts here, okay, there's all these apps that you can use, Spotify, Waze, if we wanted to listen to something we could go Spotify, okay, you can go right down here, just using the factory iDrive controller right here, and we can scroll down to, you know, it doesn't matter what, shuffle play, okay, no sound, how do we fix that, we're going to go back, and we're gonna change our media source, okay? It needs to be on AUX, just like that. Now we can go back. There you go. And now if we go up here, all right, change the song. I feel so close to you right now. It's a force feel. Okay, sounds great. Steering wheel controls you can use for volume. You can't go track up and track down. You can control CarPlay with the steering wheel, however, which I'm doing right now. 
go down, BMW, that's your sort of home screen. Now we can go down, down, set up. I'm gonna do some setting up. We're gonna go to CarPlay. One, one, two, three. We're gonna turn right-hand drive on, okay? Because it's a right-hand drive vehicle. So that'll reset when you re reconnect your phone. Um, if you go into setup and Bluetooth, you can pair your phone wirelessly there for, for wireless CarPlay. Like I said, I'm not gonna do that. It's not my car. Um, when you're in CarPlay, if you go into reverse, um, that will show you, it's not gonna do it without the car started, that will show you the factory uh, reverse image. And I will just get you a better look at the screen on CarPlay. Now, if you can see a bunch of little lines on the screen, that's not happening right here. That's only happening on the camera, okay? That's just because of the, the camera, All right? There you go. That is Apple CarPlay. Um, really, really, really crystal clear. It looks really good. Um, that is pretty much the whole thing done, guys. Guys, that is the whole system done. Um, if you have any questions about the install, just drop them in the comments below. This kit is our kit that we sell, um, so that will be on the website. Link is in the description. Um, you can go ahead and purchase that from the website. And with install, we'll give you technical support. I think I covered everything today. So factory camera works, um, steering wheel controls, the install, obviously, and whatever else. But if, like I said, if you do have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.